Hi, and welcome to Gamers Web Unboxed. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Umbusk Arab for the Watchers faction for Wild West Exodus. And uh, much like my boxing unboxing with the uh, Warrior Nation uh, Young Bloods, Braves and Hunters, um, I'm going to take a look at something that isn't a core box. So here we go. This is the Umbusk Arab. Um, comes in a nice big blister. And with the back, Dynamic Vackles of Good and Evil and the Twisted Wild West and the Wild West Exodus. Um, logo on the bottom uh, War Cradle Studios and the URL okay uh, I've not actually checked this all I've done is taken it out of the box okay there are no instructions because the instructions are actually on the website okay nice and simple unboxing because it's going to be very quick and I'll do it in two parts first part we get is the large base and as always with the Wild West Exodus miniatures it's a lit base and then inside the bag we have our resin miniature okie dokie right so this is the umber scarab it comes on four resin uh, spruce there is the the main body of the the beast, really nice detail on the face. There you go. And a set of legs. And another set of legs. And finally, the thorax part of the model, which I would imagine. Okay, okay. As I said, there's no actual instructions with this, um, but the entire miniature. Uh, as all the instructions and mini the faction cards as well as the instructions are up on the Wild West Exodus website. Just one last look at that before we go further. As you can see the details really nice and crisp. Looks very much like a Tyranid. It'd be quite nasty to come up against one of these. Okay, so I'm just going to pause now and I'm going to assemble this and we'll come back and see the model um, fully assembled. Hi and welcome back. Um, you'll have to forgive the unsteadiness of this uh, part of the video. Uh, my tripod literally just broke as I started to set things up. Uh, but anyway, just give you a quick look at the model itself. As you can see, it looks quite good. Um, very Tyranid-esque. And it's not something you want to meet. You would like to meet on a dark alley one night. Um, you'll have to forgive the rushness as well, please, because I've not actually had chance to fill any of the gaps and I didn't pin the model, which I strongly recommend you do. Um, just a wee note, there is no instructions on the War Cradle website for this, but the model goes together quite easily once you follow the guide, which is basically the, the picture on the website. Um, it goes together quite quickly, and it looks quite well. Um, it looks quite menacing. Uh, the only problem with this creature is you need to have three of them to form a unit and the, that could be quite expensive but they are quite good. I'm going to look at the card in a moment. Now the cards don't come with the model like many of the get, uh, the actual units in Wild West Exodus. You download them uh, for free from the website and just print them out. So I've printed one out and we'll have a look at that in a moment. But just as you can see it looks quite cool. Again if you're going to build one of these please pin it before you actually um, do any work on it and I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can have a quick look at the detail as you can see the animation is quite good I'm getting a bit of bleed through here for some reason and I'm losing a little bit of detail but you get the gist uh, there is again right so if you just pause with me a second I will just um, pause with me if you bear with me a second I'm just going to pause the camera try and find another tripod and set up for the rest of the um, unboxing okay welcome back folks sorry about the delay though um, okay so we're gonna have a quick look at the card for the undiscovered myriad um, it's a support it's a watchers faction um, an umber, it's an umber scarab, and it's female. Um, 
There is a larger version of this called the King Scarab, which is really, really big and very, very expensive, uh, which I hope to get for my collection at some point. But since I'm just starting with watchers now, um, I'm just going to leave it for the moment. Uh, right, so you need a minimum of two of these to form a unit. Um, I've got one, so I'm going to have to get another one. Uh, they come in a unit of two to four. Uh, this unit consists of two to four models. The minimum size is two, which costs 160 points because they're 80 points a piece. Um, they have the common rules, metal, skirmishers, and sure foot. Special rules, unbeclared. Um, this unit always is held in reserve and deployed using unexpected arrival special rules. Um, murderous, when engaged, while engaged with a successful fight or aim checks uh, with a weapon on any other engaged units cause an automatic hit on the same unit. So basically if it's in fighting with someone else and it causes a hit, it causes an automatic second hit on that unit. But it won't use the qualities like Brutal. Which it doesn't actually um, have as one of its qualities anyway. All right, uh, unexpected arrival, basically this thing comes on in reserve. Uh, the controlling player uh, must sit at least six inches away from a table edge. Um, okay, stat-wise, it's got a quick of six, mind of three, uh, attack of three, sorry, aim of three, um, guts of five, fight of five, and a limit of two. And uh, it's mouth pincers, uh, close combat, as in base to base. And I've got a piercing minus two and a rate of attack of one. And it's got a spike tail, which has got a range of one, uh, piercing minus one, and rate attack of one. Um, quite honestly, I would actually say that it should have a bit of a longer range. So, um, anyway, that's just me. Right, so, here's the wee beastie again. And... I'm looking forward to actually expanding on my watchers. They're quite a nice faction. I've got a whole posse theme idea coming up using um, Aliens vs. Cowboys, uh, which was a very, very, very bad film. But bad films make good gaming. As always, I've been Mark. Gamers Web. For gamers, by gamers.